Hey, Lawn Care Nation. While there's no question what a good blade edger can do in laying a nice crispy edge to give your lawn mowing jobs that finishing touch, and it can actually be the thing that sets you apart from your competition. But where the questions may come up is in a choice of what type of machine to get uh, with all of the different options available today. So I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about uh, blade edgers for your lawn care business. So as you can see here, I've got uh, three examples of uh, blade edgers here. Two of them are of the stick variety, uh, with one being a uh, combi system using a, a blade edger attachment, and the other being a dedicated uh, blade edger. The third that we have here is a walk-behind uh, edger. So let's start off first uh, with uh, the stick uh, type edger. So like I said, I've got two uh, examples here, a dedicated uh, blade edger machine. So uh, this is the Echo uh, P. E2620S uh, is a dedicated uh, straight shaft uh, blade edger and uh, is an absolute uh, fantastic machine. It's got a ton of power, more than uh, what you would need to even uh, tackle some of uh, the uh, heaviest overgrown uh, type lawns. And uh, like I said, it just does a great job uh, every time uh, I use uh, that type of machine. But another option, uh, instead of buying a dedicated machine, is to look at something like this. Uh, a combi system or uh, Echo Cells the Pass system as well, uh, where you have uh, you know an attachment capable machine uh, that has this uh, junction here that allows you to uh, remove uh, different attachments and uh, utilize the same engine uh, for uh, a multitude of different tasks. So uh, this one here is the Steel uh, KM110 uh, combi system. Uh, I've had this for many years and uh, use uh, the straight shaft uh, edger attachment uh, for this one. And again, it does a fantastic job uh, and has more than enough power uh, to tackle uh, you know, most of uh, your jobs, uh, even the really heavy uh, overgrown ones. These are a great system uh, to get into, whether it's the uh, steel combi system or the Echo uh, PAS system, especially if you already have uh, one of these attachment capable machines, it's a lot more affordable to purchase just a uh, attachment uh, for a blade edger than to go and purchase a whole new uh, dedicated machine uh, for your uh, blade edging. And uh, it's a great way, especially when you're first starting out in the business, uh, to be able to uh, get uh, you know a lot more machines and a lot more capabilities for your business offerings uh, on a smaller budget by uh, just adding attachments uh, to a combi or a PAS type system. Now, uh, with these uh, handheld uh, stick uh, type edgers, uh, they also come in two different varieties. I only have the straight shaft uh, versions here, but they also come with a curve shaft version that uh, the bottom portion here, whether it's the attachment that you're purchasing or the dedicated machine, uh, they'll have uh, the shaft come and then come off uh, to an angle. And uh, it's more just a personal uh, preference on uh, what you like, uh, whether you like the straight shaft or the curved shaft versions. I've always liked uh, the straight shaft uh, versions because it's just a lot easier for storage. Um, when you're uh, you know, hanging these on a wall, uh, putting them in your trailer, it takes up a lot less space uh, to have just the straight shaft version nicely tucked you know, against the side wall of a trailer or something, rather than having that uh, edger uh, kind of curved out and sticking out, uh, taking a bit more room. So uh, more just a, a matter of personal preference on uh, what you like. Uh, I don't think uh, there's any evidence to suggest that uh, a curved shaft or a straight shaft uh, either outperforms uh, any one of the other. So the next machine we have here is the walk behind uh, type edger. And uh, this one uh, example here is the Power Trim uh, brand and it's the 200-8 uh, uh, model and it features a much larger uh, three and a half 
horsepower Briggs and Stratton engine. So that's going to uh, you know, give you a lot more power uh, versus these uh, smaller uh, two-stroke uh, type engines uh, and is uh, really fantastic for those really heavy jobs uh you know those jobs where you know an edge hasn't been uh, maintained in years it's really thick um it's uh, quite overgrown uh, a machine like this is going to be able to power through that uh, without uh, any issues uh, and it's also going to be a lot less fatiguing uh, using it because uh, it supports all of its own weight and you're basically just holding onto the handles and guiding it uh, versus holding uh, one of these machines uh, which can get uh, kind of awkward and fatiguing on uh, you know bigger jobs so this power trim as you can see it also uses a much uh, bigger uh, blade as well and it has some features uh, like allowing you to set uh, the actual angle uh, of the blade. So you can uh, tilt uh, the blade as well. Uh, that can come in uh, handy and give you uh, that versatility that you would have with a handheld machine that you can kind of just, uh, you know, as you're holding it, uh, tilt the machine uh, to cut a certain angle, like uh, as if, um, you know, maybe you're at the bottom of a slope or some uneven ground and you still want to cut a straight edge. You can, uh, you know, angle that blade so that the edge is straight regardless of, uh, you know, the machine uh, being on an angle angle as well uh, and these machines uh, just work absolutely fantastically uh, I've had this machine for many many years and uh, I bring it out uh, for those really really heavy jobs like I said those uh, types of jobs where uh, the edge has not been maintained in many many years uh, particularly if it's super super thick uh, it just makes it so much easier uh, to cut the edges uh, with a walk behind a machine like that and uh, the other great uh, thing about these types of machines uh, is if you have really long runs uh, um, I've used this many times on uh, commercial uh, properties where there might be, you know, uh, really big parking lots uh, where the sidewalk could be, you know, an entire city block long and you have to go and edge it or cut the edge for the first time or even uh, maintain it on a weekly basis. This is a lot easier just guiding this along the ground. Uh, it's rolling on its own wheels and cutting those really long runs uh, for uh, sidewalk edges uh, versus having to uh, you know, uh, maintain uh, the edges or try to cut uh, edges on a really large uh, length of sidewalk uh, using a stick edger, which can get very uncomfortable uh, on your back uh, when you're trying to uh, you know, hold those and guide them, particularly if it's um, really heavy or thick uh, type growth and you're having to work uh, the edger back and forth uh, to get into certain areas uh, as you can imagine uh, having the walk behind machine for those types of jobs very simple and there's no fatigue at all uh, in using uh, a walk behind uh, type edger now the blades that all of these uh, blade edgers use is basically just a flat piece of uh, metal stock that has uh, the whole uh, you know, uh, mounted perfectly in the center uh, and is uh, perfectly balanced to use. And as you can see, over time, uh, these blades uh, start to wear out. They get quite thin uh, when they're, uh, you can see how much space is uh, left in here. This one's uh, quite worn out uh, and short. This blade, uh, brand new, would, uh, you know, very, be uh, very uh, close to the uh, edge of the guard here. Uh, so it's worn out uh, quite a bit. Uh, same with the... Um, one here uh, on the uh, echo you can see i've used it uh, quite a bit uh, it gets worn out and depending on how much edging you're doing um, you know it can really uh, you can really go through these blades quite easily because they're just a mild steel uh, when you're going through concrete i know guys that uh, go through uh, a blade every day because they use uh, you know their blade edger on every single property uh, that they maintain I don't quite go through blades as quickly because I uh, typically use uh, my edgers to cut the initial edge and then I maintain on a weekly basis with the string. Uh, so I don't go through uh, blades as often, uh, but uh, you know it is something to consider. The blades are relatively uh, cheap to buy, uh, but they do uh, add up.
on the uh, walk behind machine uh, you can see uh, it's uh, got quite a bit larger uh, blade on it uh, which can come in handy like I said uh, and give you uh, a little bit longer uh, life uh, with the uh, you know extra uh, length there but they're all relatively the same it's important to note though uh, that uh, using uh, those uh, stock blades isn't the only option there is a company uh, called uh, the golden edge uh, that makes aftermarket blades uh, for edgers so let's take a look at that so this is uh, an aftermarket edger blade called uh, the golden edge uh, and as you can see it's got the same uh, mounting hole to fit uh, on these uh, stick uh, edgers and it has these big uh, wings on the sides uh, of uh, like quarter inch uh, steel uh, but it utilizes uh, carbide blades, the same as you would see uh, on a typical, uh, you know, circular saw type of blade. Uh, and that's uh, to uh, allow these blades to last a lot longer when you're edging. Uh, the manufacturer of these claims that this can last uh, the equivalent of 50 uh, of those standard stock, uh, you know, uh, flat uh, metal uh, type of blades. Uh, the difference though with these as well is that uh, you can see how thick that is when it's uh, going to be cutting it's going to leave a lot thicker edge uh, that again is personal preference you may or may not like uh, the look of that and, and as we can compare the thickness there uh, between uh, the golden edge uh, versus a stock blade um, you can see that the golden edge is so much thicker uh, than a stock blade so it gives it an entirely uh, different look uh, as well uh, and as uh, like i said just a matter of personal preference um, i uh, don't um, care for these um, just because of the amount of debris that these uh, shoot back with that thick blade uh, can make it uh, a liability in my eyes uh, if you're working in uh, very small tight neighborhoods like I do with lots of uh, cars uh, and people uh, that could be around uh, you know this shoots off a lot more debris versus those yes. but I thought uh, it was worth noting uh, that there is uh, options for different blades that you can get uh, for these types of machines uh, from uh, you know aftermarket manufacturers so that's it for this one guys if you like this video make sure you hit that like button if you haven't subscribed yet consider subscribing leave a comment down below and let me know what type of a blade edger you use in your lawn care business so that's it for this one guys here's to wishing you guys all overwhelming success and freedom in your lawn care business bye for now